The Moonstars then went down to Houston to face the Crocs, and the Moonstars going to win that one 8-2. The Outlaws were out in uh, at Bingata against yeah. the Grapplers, and the Outlaws won 10-3. Big, huge win. The, wa- the Water Bolts then went out to Hawaii to face the Burners, and it was all, literally, I always say it's all, but almost all Water Bolts 12-4. Wide loads then went out to Hawaii and they faced the Nemesis and the Nemesis beat him 5 4 in a close game. Blowfish in the hot corners. Blowfish win that one 5 2. You back, Pete? Yeah, I'm back. Okay, cool. I just decided to go down the uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the list of games, the nine games that happened here. So I'm up now at the. Can you hear it through your headphones? What? I can't hear anything. <laughs> you got it through the headphones? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Good, 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 good. All right, yeah. So we had to, we had to get a, a uh, an intern in here to help yes. help out with it. Yeah. A sixteen, <laughs> well, okay, so... 16 year old you intern. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, why don't you start us off then uh, with the standings? Tell us what's going on. All right, the season standings are the Pioneer Conference in the Pathfinder Division. The Blowfish, again, continue their reign over the Pathfinder. They've got a record of twenty five and six. Uh, only uh, one of two teams uh, in single-digit losses at this okay. point in the season. So the Blowfish, 25-6, and six, have a 7.5-game lead over the Freedom, who are in second place with a record of 17-13. and 13. The Blowfish with a uh, conference-leading plus 45-run differential. Wow, yeah, Blowfish favored to take the whole thing at this point in the season. In the uncharted division, it's the San Diego Platypi who are out in front. They are 18-12 and 12 with a plus 26-run differential. It's substantial as well. They got a two-game lead against the Outlaws, who also have a winning record at 16 and 14. Down in the Journey Division, um, the Grapplers have a lock on the, uh, well, not a lock, but a tenuous hold on the first place with a record of 17 and 14. The Arctics, the team we're going to play tonight, uh, with a record of 16 and 14, only a half game back. So the Arctics are going to be playing, playing to win, Tom. Yeah, they're the slouches. I haven't, I haven't really been watching them, but... Uh... This isn't a game. This isn't a gimme at all, especially coming off a loss against the Moose. <laughs> yeah, that was a tight one. That was a tough one. Yeah. Uh, in our conference, Explorers Conference, Seafair Division, the Jacks have been out in front, I think, the whole season, except for maybe one or two games. They're still there, 21 and 10. They just got their double digit loss at the, uh, like I say, at the 31 game mark. Unbelievable. Uh, they got a plus 30 run differential and a four and a half game lead in front of the second place team, the California Gold Coats, who are at 16 and 14. In our very own trade division, the Nemesis with a record of 23 and eight and a plus 52 run differential are starting to open up a bit of a lead over our very own uh, B-Wolves, who are in second place with a record of 19 and 11 and a plus 41 run differential behind them in third. The Sirloins playing 500 ball at 15 and 15. They're seven and a half games out. The Herbisaurs in fourth place playing thir- uh, with a record of 13 and 16. They're nine games back. And then the Water Bullets at 11 and 19, bringing up the rear. And they're 11 and a half games out of first place. All right. Curiosity Division, the last one there. Saw Teeth, San Jose Saw Teeth are out in front, 18 and 13. They've got a just a one-game lead ahead of the San Diego Moonstars, who are 17 and 14. So that's a closely, close, a tight uh, race there. Yes, sir. Uh, if we go on over to the uh, wild card, uh, pay, I'll do the wild card, the Pioneer Conference. Right now, it's the Philadelphia Freedom, who are out in front. Uh, they got a, a plus eight run differential, and they got a one game lead. Only one game lead. Get this. Out of the Arctics, Outlaws, and Crocodons. The Burners, only a one and a half game lead. And then a two game lead against the Sandcats Buzzards. So, all of these teams have a shot. And the Arctics, with a game back from the wild card, know that this game's important tonight. Yeah, in, in many ways. Like you say, they're a half game out of first place in their division, and they're a game out of the uh, the wild card contention. So, yeah, the, the Arctics are not going to be uh, easy at all. Over in the Explorer Conference, the B-Wolves uh, hold uh, the wild card contention with a record of 19-11 and, and a plus 41 run differential. They have a two-and-a-half game lead over the Moon Stars, who are just behind them with a record of 17-14 and 14 and a plus 18 run differential. So for the Moon Stars, or, or really any team in the Explorer Conference to have a shot, they're going to have to not only, uh, they're going to have to come out with a better uh, record at the end because the B-Wolves with that plus 41 run differential at this point in time, uh, I just, you know, they, the tie will go to them, so. Yeah. Uh, the thing I noticed from these stats here, just massively explosive offense. I mean, all these teams that are in the wild card highlights there have positive run differentials that are it's heavily weighted. Like yeah. Goldfish, Platypi, Grappler, really the freedom and the saw teeth are sort of on the fence. 
uh, they can swap out for the moon stars and, and the Arctics. But uh, um, I mean, there's some teams that really belong there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And those are teams, mostly all teams that we'll see next season. Okay, so uh, that's going to bring us to tonight's game. It is uh, game 31 of 44. It's going to be the 19 and 11 B Wolves. Uh, against the 16 and 14 Arctics, a couple of winning teams. So it's a big game to catch. It'll be primetime TV. The Arctics are known as bullpen beasts. They got a great bullpen. They got really good defense as well. Fair contact. <coughs> so they'll be tough to beat. We are going to put our right-hander, third-string Fran Japani on the mound. Uh, third but not last. She's still known mostly for her uh, velocity, but she's got good junk and fair accuracy. She's got a 2-1 ring record. She'd like to keep that or expand it. She's got a 2-8-90 ERA. And a 1.01 whip. Yes, sir. And she's thrown some really good games. Again, much like uh, Hurley Bender, just not getting the offensive support to get those wins uh, and put them in the win column. Backing her up, uh, Hanley Dexter is the shortstop. He's got about average power, but he's got good ability to connect good speed on the base pass. He's hitting 333 with 10 home runs. Hammer Long Ballo, the right fielder with the good power, better than average. Uh, ability to connect, but less than average speed on the base pass. He's in 299 with six home runs, and he's been uh, he's been really uh, uh, you know uh, struggling so far this season. Tom, I'm hoping he can turn it around here as we head down the stretch. Uh, Fiona Clark is uh, less than 100% physically fit. She's uh, ailing a little bit. She's got uh, less than average speed. She's got uh, she's a good fielder with a good arm. She's hitting 269 with one home run. All right, they're going to be going up against the right-handed starting pitcher for the Arctics, Darth Travis. Uh, Travis is known mostly for his junk, uh, and he's got uh, okay accuracy and velocity. He's got a 4-3 winning record as well. He's got a 3-4-6 area and a 1-2-8 whip, so he's not someone to be taken lightly. No, sir, and then behind him, Grunt Manley at first base with better than average power, good ability to connect, and better than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 276 with six home runs. Uh, Carlos Mesa, the third baseman who's locked in, he's got uh, about better than average power, better than average ability to connect, better than average speed. He's hitting 260 with three home runs. And then Barron out in right field, who's tense right now, but he's got good power, better than average ability to connect, better than average speed. He's hitting 223 with two home runs. All right. Well, that's going to bring us to the starting lineup. Consistent coach looking a little something like this. First up. Pete's favorite, second baseman, Freddie Knox. <laughs> right behind him playing first base is Hanley Dexteris. Playing first base, Hanley Dexteris. All right. Uh, batting third, Buster Biggs. He'll be the designated hitter today. Interesting. Interesting choices here. Uh, Harold Longwell is going to bat cleanup and play right field. Steve Monstor is going to catch. Uh, Fiona Clark is going to take a little rest here. Sturdy Woodman is out today. He's a little tense, just by the way. That's why, that's why Dex is at first. Eduardo Keller is going to start off in left field, so that's a nice little change of pace. He'll bat six, batting seventh, Ham Slamis, who's playing shortstop. Where the banks at third base, unless you want to put Barney Bryan in. Um, yeah, we could do that. <clears throat> oh, it wasn't really just throwing it out there. Okay, we're going to put Barney Bryan in. <laughs> and then batting ninth, Magic Moore, the Magic Man, center fielder. Uh, starting pitcher and not hitting today because we're in the other conference, other building. That's going to be Fran Japani. She's just going to throw it. She's going to throw the four-finger, the two-finger, the curveball, the slider, and the changer. And nobody is more disappointed than Fran Japani. She's a pretty good hitting pitcher. Yes. Dusk at Emerald Point. Sun going down. Yeah. Great Pacific out there in the west there. Over yes, there. sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's nice to be on town on an afternoon like this. Yes, sir. The Arctic's lineup's going to look like this. Meza's going to lead off playing second base. Carloco, the designated hitter. Barron in right field, Manley at third base, Jensen catching, Mannion Moon in center field, uh, Evergreen in left field, French somewhere, and then there's another guy. So as we head into the top of the first, Freddie Knox, Hanley Dexter's Buster Biggs will get a first look at Dirth Travis and his 3.46 ERA. Arctic's taking the field, the home team, home home fans now cheering him on. Right. Freddie yeah, Knox, neutral and fit, hitting 271 with a home run, seven RBIs. We're going to quiet him down real quick here. First pitch by Travis is oh. a foul ball. Souvenir, third baseline. There you go, kids. Have that one. Take that one. Show it to your friends. Reaches out at a breaking pitch back on the mound to Travis. Two pitches, one out. Not good, Freddie. Hanley Dexter is neutral and fit. Andy tough out Dexter. utility player hitting 333. 10 home runs, 19 RBIs. Let's get it going here, Hanley. First pitch is inside, ball one. 
That was low ball too. Two balls and no strikes to Hanley Dexteras. There's a shot that's going to roll up. To Mesa is going to lay out and make the pickup, but not going to be able to throw out the speedy Hanley Dexteras at first. So one on with one out and in steps Buster Biggs. All right, Hanley, we're going to get on, get some offense started here in the first inning. Buster Biggs, 406 on the season, two home runs, 13 RBIs. First one's in for strike. One, one. Oh, and they catch him in the rundown. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, they tag him. Dog gone. Hanley caught in the rundown on that. So, yeah, he went a little early and negates it. And there's a grounder straight to charge Mesa. One pump throw to first, and we're out, with, we're out just like that. Pete. Yes, sir. We're <laughs> heading into the bottom of the first. Charge Mesa. Jose Carloco, Dave Barron going to get a first look at Japani and her 2.89 e, uh, ERA. So, yeah, got a hit. Uh, Dexterous with a hit, but, uh, yeah, that fell apart quickly. Charge yeah, Mesa locked in and fit, hitting 260 with three home runs, 14 RBIs. Got to be a little more careful with all those stolen base. Attempts. I'll tell you, the offense, the offense just seems to be a little off. First pitch is inside, ball one. Meza locked in and fit. That one's ripped into the dugout along the third base side. One ball, one strike. That one's outside, ball two. Two balls and a strike now to the Arctic second baseman, Chard Meza. There's a shot that's going to get into left field. Keller's going to pick it up. Get it in quickly to Freddie Knox at second place. But one on with no outs and in steps Jose Carloco. He's neutral and fit, hit 308, 10 home runs, 27 RBIs. This guy is danger personified. It's bananas, isn't he? First pitch to Carloco is low and inside, ball one. And the throw, and it's not oh. in time. Mm. They've. <laughs> Mez is able to steal second, so one ball, one strike, no outs, runner at second base. Carloco, the designated hitter, takes the next pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. And now Carloco finds himself behind in the count, one and two. Allen's fouled straight back. One ball, two strikes, no outs. Carloco behind in the count, Allen's low. Nice stop by Mont yeah. Stewart to keep it in front of him. Two and two now. There's a shot that's going to get into right field, and Long Ballo is going to come up firing. Nice one hop throw to Monster at home. Runners at the corners, though. First and third with no outs. Dave Barron's tense and fit, but he's hitting 223 with two home runs, 10 RBIs. Again, two on and no outs. There's a roller to Dexter as he's going to throw it home, and he's going to. Oh. It's a bang bang play, and Dexteris tried to get the runner going home, but he was, the throw was not in time. I thought he was going to do the double play. I thought it was, yeah, he was going to come back to first, but didn't work out, folks. So uh, Arctics get one. There's another shot into center field, and that's <sighs> going to go into the pitcher. So no bases, outs. bases loaded with no outs. Arctics up one to nothing. Burton Jess, Jensen, the catcher, comes in. Favors the low pitch. He's a tough out, hitting 205 with three home runs, 12 RBIs. There's a shot, and that's going to go two. Two, two. And they pick up the double play. So it goes to Freddie Knox, flip over to um, uh, Ham Slamis, over to Hurley, uh, Hanley Dexteras. So they get the um, two outs, runner at third base. Wow, this is. Mannion Moon is in. The center field, he's hitting 167, no home runs, one RBI, neutral and fit. Arctics are up two to nothing. So that's in there for a called strike. One ball, one strike, two outs. There's a roller, and Dupani will pick it up, make the throw to first for the third out. So we're heading into the bottom of the second. Arctics up two to nothing. Hammer long ball, oh, Steve Monstour, Eduardo Keller going to get a first look at Darth Travis, who threw seven pitches and gave up a hit in the first inning. His ERA is at a 3.38. Longballo neutral and fit, hitting 299 with six home runs, 16 RBIs. Longballo playing right field for the B Wolves. First pitch is low, ball one. Ooh, that catches the low corner for call strike. One ball, one strike now. That one's low as well, two and one to Hammer Longballo. That one's high, ball three. Three balls and a strike to the right fielder. And fouls that straight back. Full count, three and two. That's outside ball four, and Hammerlong Ballo will take a walk, so one on with no outs. And in steps Monstour. 
Oh, it'd be nice for Mount Stewart to get a home and tie this up, right? <laughs> He's got good power against these right-handers. You never know. 355 on the season. 10 home runs, 20 RBIs. Oh, that was a little high. Good patience, though. He holds back on it. 15th pitch by Darth Travis. Says, oh, makes the top side for a strike. One apiece now. Top of the second. Oh, late swing, but it was a home run swing. One and two the count. Low and inside. Another good eye. Another good patience. Let that go by. Two balls, two strikes. No! Oh, that breaking pitch over the inside corner gets <clears throat> Steve Monstor. One out. In steps Eduardo Keller. He's neutral and fit. Hitting 276 with a home run. One RBI. One on with one out. First pitch to Keller's high. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Allen's high as well. Ball two. Two straight balls to Eduardo. That's way outside. Ball three. Three balls and no strikes to Eduardo Keller. That's way outside ball four. So runners now at first and second with one out and in steps Ham Slamis. Interesting he couldn't get a strike against Eduardo Keller. Ham Slamis hitting 354, mostly known for his power. Got runners in first and second with just one out. The Eagles looking to tie this thing up. It's going deep. They're gonna have to come back. It's caught at the track. Darn it, if he could've came back a little sooner, he could've got third base. Some uh, heads down base running by. <coughs> Darn it. Barney Bryan, neutral and fit, hitting 261 with a home run, three RBIs, two outs, and two on. Come on, Barney, let's get something going here. First pitch to Barney is fouled straight back, strike one. Allen's low ball, one. One ball, one strike, two outs. That oh, one's popped God. up on the infield. The second baseman is calling for it. Barney Bryan is going to. Punch him as he runs by. <laughs> but Chard Meza makes the catch for the third out. So we're going to head into the bottom of the second. It's uh, Arctic's two, B Wolves nothing. Patience Evergreen, Messiah French, and Nick Flory is going to get a first look at Japani who threw 16 pitches and gave up three hits in the first inning. The left fielder, Our old David friend Patience Evergreen, Evergreen likes the pitches inside, as we know well. It's 286 this season, one home run, six RBIs. Great contact hitter from back in the day. Left hand batter's box, the cage to protect her face. It checked the first base in there for strike. Only the count. People just want to get out of this inning with nothing on the board, so they get another crack at the offense next next inning and tie this thing up. Bottom of the second, 2 nothing Arctics. Reaches in on a one that inside the almost jammed her. She's now 0 2. Ray Japani looking for the first K. Oh, that one misses just outside. LOL, crab pasta bar. I'm heading there after the game. I don't know about you. 20th pitch by Fran Giapani. She's looking for the right call from Steve Monstor. Number 40 gets it, winds up, tosses. Nice, breaking pitch low, no swing, strikeout. Fran Giapani gets one under her belt. And now it's going to bring in Messiah French, the third baseman. Good contact hitter, 265 batting average. Fans cheering him on. They want to get a hit here. They want somebody else on base. They had three in that last inning. He has no home runs and four RBIs, Messiah French. So she checks the first one, but it's in there for strike. Over the count. Shortstop for the Washington Arctics. Right hand batter's box will bounce in a step. Hard hit. Tags that ball. Third baseline foul. Over two. Fran Japani has him where she wants him now. This is exactly what she expected. And it's an easy pop up. Right in front of Steve Monster. Fran Japani at the front of the grass is going to make that grab. Two up. Two down. That's going to bring in Nick Flores, as a center fielder. <clears throat> he's at 330 on the season. He's got seven home runs, 22 RBIs, so he's not someone you want to toss too lightly. Go Fans on. cheer to mind. First pitch misses upstairs, one on the count. He's looking a little tense, though, so that uh, brings his chances down a bit. Slider misses outside, two quick balls to the Arctic's first baseman. Finally makes that one low, two and one the count. Now safety's off for Nick Flores, who is waiting for the fourth pitch for Banjapati. Her 27th of the day. She winds up, throws it. Oh, that one misses up near the hands. Three and one. They got a hitter's pitch. And Nick's Flores. Here it comes. That's another pop up. He's shaking his head. Fran Japani walks over toward the first base line. She's going to grab that in the grass. Three up, three down, Pete. That was a good one. Yes, sir. So we're going to head into the top of the third. B Wolves, no runs on one hit with no errors. The Arctics, two runs on three hits with no errors. Magic Moore's first at bat. Freddie Knox 0 for 1. Hanley Dexter is 1 for 1. Travis hit 26 pitches with a strikeout, giving up two no walks and a hit. The Magic Moore's Magic neutral and fit. He's got power versus left handed pitching. He's hit 302 with three home runs, 10 RBIs. <laughs> All that in a bag of chips. First pitch by Darth Travis misses for ball. 1 0 is the count. Top of the third. Oh. 
Two to that. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Reeve it up at one apiece now. That breaking pitch misses outside. 2 1. He's coming quick. 30th pitch. Also breaking outside 3 0. He throws a couple balls in a row when he loses his composure. That's a breaking pitch. A liner. Whistles past his head in the center field. Man of Moon stops that. Throws it back in. Beagle's got one on base. Beagle, no outs. Yes, sir. One on. No outs. Freddie Knox, neutral and fit. 0 for 1 so far today. Magic Moore at first base has some speed. First pitch to Freddie Knox is high. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a shot that's going to get hey. up into center field. A clean single. And that'll move Magic Moore to second. So runners at first and second now with no outs. And in steps Hanley Dexteris. Well, hopefully they don't strand anybody. They don't want that double play ball, Hanley. Don't hit that one. He's one for one with a single. Got runners at first, second, no outs. Fans jumping up and down the stands. Oh, late swing. A home run swing. Falls it back. Off the wall, one the count. That one misses inside. Good pitch, good eye. One apiece now. No. There's a hard liner. It's the double play ball from Meza to second, over to first. They get two. Yes, I told him not to hit that. <laughs> Runner at third base with two outs. Buster Biggs 0 for 1. Base hit, scores a run. Buster. First pitch to Buster Biggs. Catches the outside corner for a called strike. Strike one. Allen's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike. No, There's a Buster, roller no. to the first baseman. Flores is going to pick it up, stranded step on first. Stranded him again. Stranded him again, so we're going to head into the bottom of the third. Arctics two, B-Wolves nothing. Chard Meza one for one. Jose Carloco one for one. Dave Barron 0 oh for one. Japani at 28 pitches with a strikeout, giving up three hits. Chard Meza is locked in and fit. He's one for one with a single. I wonder when we're going to break the cycle. Today, we're doing it today. First pitch to Chard Meza. It was fouled off. This, this bat exploded. Huh. So we're going to miss strike two. And very quickly, Meza's in the hole. Oh, and two. I checked that bat for some corking. Might be some corking in there. Uh, that's that what I thought. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. It broke kind of quick, kind of easily. Huh. Meza's able to foul that one straight back. So... He'll get another pitch. One ball, two strikes. That one's popped up into right field. Longbalo is there calling for it. Makes the catch for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps Jose Carloco. He's neutral and fit one for one with a single. Nobody on with one out. The dangerous Carloco takes the first pitch inside ball one. One ball, no strikes. Carloco designated hitting today. Takes that pitch for a called strike. That'll even the count up. One ball, one strike, one out. That's ripped foul along the third base side. And now Carloco behind in the count again, one and two. He gets enough of that to push it foul, but that was an awfully late swing. One and two to Jose Carloco. That's fouled straight back. Carloco making Japani throw some pitches yeah, here. Going to throw her 39th kind. pitch. And that's popped up <coughs> into shallow right field, and Hanley Dexteris is there to make the catch for the second out. Two up, two down. Dave Barron, the right fielder, steps in. He's tense, but fit. He's 0 for 1 with an RBI. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch is fouled off, strike one. No balls, one strike. This crowd is electric right now. That one's outside ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Crowd knows how much is riding on this game for the Arctics. That one's popped up straight back. That's going to be out of play. That'll be strike two. One ball, two strikes to Dave Barron, the tense right fielder. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Dave Barron. And we're out of the inning. We're going into the top of the fourth. It's still Arctics two, B-Wolves nothing. Hammerlong Ballo walked his first time up. Steve Monsteur's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And Eduardo Keller... Walked his first time up. Darth Travis at 39 pitches with a strikeout. Two walks and giving up three hits. Hammer long ball. Neutral and fit. He walked his first time up. Come on, Hammer. Smash one out of here. 40th pitch by Darth Travis. Starts things up. There's a hard liner between third and shortstop in the left field. One hit, one hit. <laughs> <laughs> one on with no outs. In step Steve Monstur. He's got power versus right-handed pitching. He's 0 for 1 today. Struck out his first time up. Hammer does not have a lot of speed at first base, so he's not really a threat to steal. First pitch to Monstour is in there for a called strike. Strike one. Allen's low ball one. One ball, one strike to Monstour. 
Oh. That catch is the high side for a called second strike. One and two now. That one's inside. That'll even count up two and two. There's a roller to mess at second base, and they're going to flip How it over. Is that? And that's a double play oh, for the Arctics. Two outs, nobody on, and in steps Eduardo Keller. I don't know, oh. like two or three. We are great at stranded runners. Nobody does it like the Beebles. Pops in one foul back. Oh, on the count, 47th pitch. Liner between. Oh, oh caught by Flores. Wow. <laughs> All I don't the Beebles know. are doing horrible. I don't know if that ball could have traveled any slower. Yeah. <laughs> Going into the bottom of the fourth, it's still Arctics. Two Beebles, nothing. Grunt Manley, one for one. Burton Jensen, 0 for one. Manion Moon, 0 for one. Japani at 43 yeah, pitches with two strikeouts. Third base, man. Yeah, that one just hung there forever. Just a little flare. Yeah, jays. All right, French Pines going to throw her 44th pitch to start the fourth, bottom of the fourth. Fastball fall back off the net. Oh, on the count to one of the best third basemen in the game, Grunt Manley. He's got six home runs, looking for seven. Oh, a slider misses outside. One apiece now, one and one, bottom oh. of the fourth, two nothing Arctic. Hard one on the ground to Barney Bryant who picks it up. He's going to have that at the first base. Wow, Manly scooted on that one, but it was a nice out. Way to get in there and play the game, uh, Barney Bryant. Good defense. Burton Jensen's coming up now. He's over one of the day. Likes pitches down low as a catcher. The Arctic fans cheered him on. Oh, that one misses up and inside. Ball one. One to the count. One out. Barney looking for another K. She could taste it. She could smell it in the water. It's wafting in from up the sound there. That one also misses 2-0. and oh, The count to Burton Jensen. There you go. Makes out of the inside corner. 2-1 now. The safety's off. He's going to throw a 50th pitch. Try to give him a ground out. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 2-2. Two two. Now she's going to go for the K. He's in the out, though. You never know. Oh, that just misses outside. Now we got a full count. 3-2. and two. Burton Jensen. Let's get on that ball, Beagles. Oh, it's a hard one to left field. It's gone. Wow. Well, couldn't hold him back for that long. We, we can't get the offense so really well. Bert Johnson hits him with a left field wall. 384 feet. It's his fourth home run. A 13th RBI of the season. The Beagles are lucky. There was no way on the bases. So it's just 3 nothing. Man of Moon Hill. 0 for 1 on the day. Center fielder for the Arctic. He's looking for his first home run. He'd like to get it right here. Swing and a miss. Strike one. That was a home run swing. Ryan Japani had to get that taste out of her mouth. Spits, winds up, throws it. Misses high. What a piece now. 55th pitch by Japani in the fourth inning. Oh, that one. Wild pitch or pass ball. Two and one. Slows things down a little. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Nice change up in there. She needs one more to get that second, just the second out. Swing and a miss. Strike three. She makes Man and Moon another victim of hers. Oh, that brings in our, our tents. Friend, the left fielder, Patience Evergreen, 0 for 1 of the day. 2-1, just one home run. Fans are stand up, cheered her on. A couple of Wolves fans made the trip out here. Cheering our guys on. Fools are on that. Slider inside. 0-1 on the count. Second pitch. This is just a little bit low. We're even up now, one apiece. 60th pitch coming up right now. 60th pitch in the fourth inning. Not the best pace. 15 pitches an inning. That one's there for strike. 1 and 2. Here she comes. Gets her high and away. No swing. Ever getting to watch as a strikeout. But they put another one on the board, making it three to nothing. Arctics as we head into the top of the fifth. Ham Slamus, 0 for 1. Barney Bryant, 0 for 1. Magic Moore, 1 for 1. Dirth Travis, 47 pitches with a strikeout, two walks, giving up four hits. His ERA is at a 3.14. Ham Slamus, neutral and fit, 0 for 1 today. Nobody on, nobody out. Top of the fifth, three to nothing. Arctics. First pitch to Ham Slamis is over the outside corner for Cole. Strike, strike one. That's a smash into right field. Right to Dave Barron, who's going to make the catch for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps Barney Bryant. If they get a hold of it, it's going right to someone. Barney Bryant, open one of the day. Made a nice play at third base last inning, although it went straight to him. What a break. Makes it, misses outside. Ball one, one of the count. Barney Bryant. That one's right in there. Late swing strike one. One apiece now. Top of the fifth. Early swing, fouls it back up the wall, one and two. Now he's in a hole. Gets underneath it, fouls it back, one and two. He's coming fast and furious, Darth Travis. Low, that one's in the dirt. Good patience. 
Brian Mann to a piece. No. Oh, swing and a miss, strike three, and Barney Bryan caves. In steps Magic Moore, neutral and fit, one for one with a single. Two up, two down in the top of the fifth. B Wolves' offensive woes continue. Just cannot buy it. There's a fly ball in the left field. The left fielder's Go. calling for it. And Patience Evergreen will make the catch for the third out. Three up, three down. We're heading into the bottom of the fifth. Messiah French 0 for 1. Nick Flores 0 for 1. Chard Meza 1 for 2. Japani at 61. Pitches with four strikeouts, giving up four hits. Arctic still winning three to nothing. I don't know if I it's our that. It's our annual getting dominated stretch of the season. Yeah, Messiah, yeah, exactly. Messiah French neutral and fit, fit 0 for 1 today. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. It's just, it's, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> First pitch to French is in there for a called strike. Strike one. Japani is neutral and fit. Thrown her 63rd pitch. That's in there for a called strike. Strike two. 63 pitches, make it 64. It's a roller to Barney Bryan. He's going to pick it up, make that throw to Hanley Dexterra's at first base for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps Nick Flores. He's tense but fit, and 0 for 1 today. He's got good connection versus left-handed pitching, which won't help him with Japani. Japani now locked in. He fouls that one off into the dugout along the first base pass. 65 pitches, 65 strikeouts she has this year. So we're going to miss strike two. Let's see if she can make it 66 on 67 pitches. Mm. That one's inside. One ball, two strikes, one out to Nick Flores. Bottom of the fifth, no. nobody on. He fouls that one straight back. He'll get another pitch. One ball, two strikes. That was one delivers. Just resting. That one's popped up right behind home plate. Steve Montstewer is there calling for everybody. Oh, he looked away from it. <laughs> two outs and in comes Chard Meza. He's locked in and fit one for two with a single. First pitch to Meza's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Chard Meza, the second baseman. That's in there for a called second strike. And very quickly, Japani going right at Meza. No balls, two strikes, two outs. That one's low, ball one. Pony hoping that Meza would chase, but he didn't. Allen's low as well. Ball two. That'll even the count now. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Down goes Chard Meza. One, two, three. Heading into the top of the sixth. Again, B Wolves offense. It's only three runs. Arctic's three. B Wolves nothing. Freddie Knox one for two. Henley Dexter's one for two. Buster Biggs 0 for two. Dirth Travis at 56 pitches with two strikeouts, two walks, and giving up four hits. Freddie Knox one for two with a single. Fredward Knox. First pitch is a curveball, misses high. <clears throat> one of the count. Top of the six, three, another no. one kicks. There's a liner straight into the glove of Meza at second base. The first baseman. <laughs> Henley Dexter. Henley Dexter is one for two with a single. One out, nobody on in the top of the sixth. First pitch is in there for called strike, strike one. That one's inside ball one. One ball, one strike, one out to Henley Dexter. That one's outside ball two. Two balls in a strike now. Swing and a miss. That'll even the count. Two balls, two strikes. Henley Dexter is known around the league as a tough out. Takes that pitch high, ball three. Count full now, three and two. And that's a fly ball in the left Wait, field. Two. And Patience Evergreen is going to range oh, over and make the catch for the second out. Two up, two down. And in steps Buster Biggs. I don't know if we hit one in the grass yet. Buster Biggs over two today. Uh, takes the first pitch low, ball one, one of the counts. 66th pitch. This is inside by Travis. They're hoping to wear him down, maybe. 2 0 the count to Buster Biggs. That one's in there. Oh, just a little too soon. It was a home run ball, right field souvenir. 2 1 now. That one misses low. 3 1. Good patience there, Buster. Get on base and get us. There he gets one up the middle. That's going to be the center field. Hey, finally, another hit. Are we going to strand him? Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to say yes, sir, to that. <laughs> one on with two outs. Hammer long ball, low neutral and fit. One for one, a single and a walk so far today. Come on, Hammer. Let's get her going here. Two outs. Throw over, and Buster is back. They're going to keep close tabs to Buster Biggs. First pitch to Long Ballos inside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. Yes. There's a shot. That's going to oh. go. Buster Biggs has gotten on the board. That one traveled. That's over the center field wall. 
And that traveled 448 feet. That's the seventh home run and 18th RBI of the season. We got ourselves a game, Tommy. It's 3-2 now, Arctics. And in steps Steve Montstory's tense but fit. All right, Steve, you want to swing the bat, tie this thing up. <clears throat> Turn around, there goes Darth Travis. Look at that. He gets the hook. They had such a good game up until that point. We're going to bring the A-minus ranked Burt Berger. I wanted to pick him up in the offseason. Burt, number 32, relieving pitcher. He's got a 4-4-1 ERA, a 104 whip, 21 Ks on the season. He throws the ball real hard. He's got good junk as well and fair accuracy. He's not 100% rested, so he might throw an inning or two. So now as a K-man, throws a four-finger, and he throws a changeup. He mixes it up with a changeup and a curveball. Hmm. As Steve Monster's got power against these right-handers, though, so he's got that to his advantage. Late swing fouled off the wall on one of the counts. Second pitch by Berger. This is inside. Good eye, Steve Monster. Third pitch. Oh, makes the inside corner somehow. One and two the count. Steve Monster at the top of the six. Two outs way outside. I don't know what he thought he'd swing at that. Two, two, two. Fouled back off the wall. Still two, two, two. Oh, misses 102 miles an hour. Three and two full count. Oh, he gets under and he K's and Berger comes in and drops his man. So we're going to go into the bottom of the sixth. Uh, it's the score now is uh, Arctic's three runs on four hits. b two runs on six hits. Harzil Carloco, one for two. Dave Barron, 0 oh for two with a strikeout. Grunt Manley, one for two. Japani had 74 pitches with five strikeouts. Jose Carloco stepping in. Jose Carloco, one for two. Ten home runs. Home for, he's in the home... He's in the home run uh, race this season, so he can put him ahead by one. There, slider makes it in for a strike. Safety off now. One the count to Carloco. Car crazy as Pete says. Hard run on the ground. A ham slam. It's gonna pick it up. One pump throw over to first base. Easy out. And it'll be Wolves. Now it's Dave Barron on his own for two on the day. Looking a little bit tense. The right fielder for the the Washington Arctics. Up to him. Right hand batter's box. Standing tall, Freddie Knox going to grab that liner into his glove. Three pitches, two outs. <clears throat> now it's Grunt Manley's turn. He's one for two in a single. Good pace here for Panjapani. Don't mess it up, Franny. Don't you do it. <laughs> Third baseman chewing gum this afternoon. Up to batter's box, reaches down, side of the ground. Hey, Ham Slam is going to pick that up one. Whip it to first. They get him, Pete. Three up, three down. That was quick. Yes, sir. We're going to head into the top of the seventh. It's Arctic's three, B Wolves two. Eduardo Keller 0 for 1 with a walk. Ham Slam is 0 for 2. And Barney Bryant 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Burt Berger threw seven pitches and racked up one strikeout. He's got an ERA of 4.36. Eduardo Keller neutral and fit 0 for 1 with a walk. Come on, Eddie. Let's get her going here. Eddie with a lot of speed if he can get on base. First pitch to Keller's in there for a called strike. Strike one. That's in there for a called second strike. Very quickly, Keller behind in the count 0 and 2. Berger known as a K-man around the league. Foul that one off. He'll get another pitch. No balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Down goes Eduardo Keller. Two Ks. Berger is good, man. Ham Slam is over two today. Looking at going over three. <laughs> Twelfth pitch by Bert Berger. Right ah. Hard one on the ground. The charred Benza. There it is. He got, at least he did it quickly. <laughs> Dang, nabbit. Two outs, nobody on. Barney Number Bryant 13. stepping in. He's 0 for 2 today, neutral and fit. Come on, Barney. Two outs, top of the seventh. B Wolves down by one. There's a roller back to Bergerer. That's three outs. Three up, three down. Ours was just as quick as theirs was. Yep. We're heading into the bottom of the seventh. It's still 3-2 Arctics. Burton Jensen 0 for 2 with a home run. Mannion Moon 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Patience Evergreen 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Japani at 78 pitches with five strikeouts, giving up four hits. Burton Jensen neutral and fit favors the low pitch. He's 1 for 2 with a home run and an RBI. Favors the low pitch. He's also known as a tough out. First pitch to Jensen's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Japani locked in and fit. Now it's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, no outs. Bottom of the seven, three, two Arctics. Now it's oh, outside as well. Two balls and a strike now. Now it's low ball three. He's not going to swing at anything. Three balls, one strike. Hitter's pitch to Burton Jensen. Takes that one for a called strike. Full count, three balls, two strikes, no outs. Jensen, known as a tough out, favors the low pitch. Pops that one up, 
just off of the home plate, and Steve Monstura will range over and make the catch for the first out. One up, one down, in steps Mannion Moon, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit. He's also 0 for 2 today. He's only hitting 159 on the season, so he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shot to hand the next and Hanks Dexteris is going to stand there and, oh. then, and then he'll step on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's two outs. Patience Evergreen tents, but fit inside pitch. Favors the inside pitch. He's 0 for 2 today. Evergreen with two K's today. Two outs, nobody on bottom of the seventh. Allen's fouled straight back, strike one. Evergreen hitting 276. She's got a home run, six RBIs. That one's in there for called second, and now she's in the hole. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Dupani can do what she wants here. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Patience Evergreen for the third time today, Tommy. Wow. Going into the top of the eighth, it's Arctics three, B-Wolves two, Magic Moore one for two, Freddie Knox one for three, Hanley Dexterous one for three, Bergerer at 13 pitches with two strikeouts. The Zieri is at a 4.24. Come on, guys. Magic Moore, the center fielder, neutral and fit one for two with a single. Uh, Patience Evergreen having a kind of day that makes you consider retirement. <laughs> that one's inside, fouled back up the wall, one of the count. 15th pitch by Burt Berger. Left side strikes on the fouls of back. He's got him right where he wants him. Moment two, here comes the K-man. Pressure up. Top of the eighth, Beatles need one more at that. 100 miles an hour inside. I don't even read that. One and two. Fouls that back off the plate. Still one and two. No! Oh, early got him on that changeup. Another K for Berger, man. He's, it's that changeup. Why did we pick him up? Freddie Knox, one for three with a single, one out and nobody on in the top of the eighth. Yeah, he, he, he's he got that speed, and then when he throws that changeup, a roller on the oh. ground to the shortstop, French, and yes. French skied it into the, <laughs> into the dugout, so Freddie Knox will get an extra base, so a man at second with one out, and in steps Hanley next Ooh, pressure up, one for three with a single. Hanley's a home run hitter. He's in the running. Oh, one out, a runner at in, in scoring position, person's in for strike, oh, on the count. Second pitch no. is a little roller. They go over to first base to get that second out. That advances uh, Freddie Knox to third. We need another hit here, though. Two outs, runner at third base. Buster Biggs, one for three with a single. Tying runs at third. So a single. That one's high ball one. One ball, no strikes. Burt Berger throwing his 23rd pitch. Low ball two. Two balls, no strikes. There's a shot that's going to get into center field yeah. and that'll land in front of Mannion Moon. And the, <laughs> the score is tied. 3-3, three, three, runner at first base. And Hammer Longballo stepping in. Two for two today. So two for two of the home runs. There goes Burt Berger. Wow, he was pitching. I thought he was pitching well. He gave up one uh, you know, one bad hit that the throw at first wasn't his fault. They're going to bring in Aitana Ramirez, the closing pitcher. Aitana is a closing pitcher. They're tied up. 4.190 area, 134 with 19 strikeouts in the season. She oh. Aitana is an A rank. She throws the ball really hard. Great junk. Great accuracy. She's mostly well rested. Throws a forefinger and a curveball. Good luck, Hammer. But if Hammer gets a hold of one, you're never going to see it again. Now, this is a high 100 miles an hour start. One will count. Pressure through the roof. Eagles tied this thing up. That one inside. She's a little nervous throwing to a, a hitter like Hammer. Early swing fouls that back off. Two and one the count. There goes. Magic man for second base to throw in time. All right, he steals base. Magic is there. Winning run for the outfield single from way up and outside. That that jarred her a little bit. Now she puts Hammer on first. And in comes Steve Monstor. Yes, sir. Runners at first and second with two outs. Steve Monstor tense, but Fitty's 0 for 3 today. 0 for 3. Do we bring in, like, Bertha or? Whatever you want to do, man. It's 0 for 3 today. He's tense. So anybody who's on the bench who isn't tense gives us a, probably yeah. a little bit better opportunity now batting, Bertha banks. Steve Monster is going to take a seat they're going to bring in Bertha Banks the pinch hitting third baseman has a batting average of 338 she's got seven home runs 18 RBIs she's neutral and fit she's got about average power less than the average ability to connect less than average speed on the base pass so Bertha Banks taking over duties uh, pinch hitting that first pitch is outside ball one no one popped up in the center field the center fielder is calling for it and Manion Moon makes the catch for the third out. So we're going to head into the bottom of the eighth. Score tied 3-3. Messiah French 0 for 2. Nick Flory is 0 for 2. And Chard Meza 1 for 3 with a strikeout. Japani had 88 pitches with six strikeouts, giving up four hits. Her ER is at a 3.02. You're going to need to get Bertha out of there. <laughs> number 46. Yeah. Now batting 
number 13. Messiah French is going to take a seat. They're going to bring in Colton O'Neill to pinch hit. O'Neill with a 174 batting average, one home run, four RBIs. He's neutral and fit. He's got um, a little bit better than that. Well, average power, but, uh, but less than average ability to connect and less than average speed on the base pass. Uh, now at catcher, Bertha Banks. Yeah, you want to swap her out, right? Yeah. We want to get her. Yeah, she's going to take off the gear. She's a little confused about that. Wait. Pitch hitting situation. Get Fiona Clark back out here. <clears throat> Fiona Clark, not 100%, but she can catch for two innings. Uh, Keep them from okay. stealing First. anything. Bop, 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 bop. What are we doing? Um, I thought you were putting Fiona Clark in, aren't you? I guess if I gotta. <laughs> I don't know what else you do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, was, I was looking to see if I could move somebody else to catch her. Oh, but that's okay. Like, like, Hand, like Handley. <laughs> yeah, I think right. our, I thought Keller might might catch though too. Oh. All right, Fiona Clark puts the gear back on, comes on in to replace the struggling Steve Monstor, who just wasn't having the day he needed. Uh, Japani is going to continue pitching up toward 90th pitch. First one's for a strike. Here comes 90. I guess Colton O'Neill, the pinch hitter, he watches the first two strikes and they're 0 2. Now she can fool him on her 95th, get him going at a bad pitch. Oh, he tries to chase it, but he pulls it back in time. Good pullback. 1 and 2 the count now on that last ball. 92nd pitch. That one misses way, in, way, misses way inside. Nobody swinging that one. 2 and 2 to Colton O'Neill. Brandon Japani still locked in deep game, bottom of the eighth. We just need one inning for another pitcher. Reaches down, follows that breaking pitch off the wall behind him. Still two and two, pressure way up. Hard one on the ground, two. Skips off the ground to Barney Bryant, who grabs it nicely. One pump throw to first base, one out. That brings in Nick Flores. 0 for two on the day. Pressure still way up. Center fielder. He's going to have a seat. Uh, they have a seat there. They're going to bring in the second baseman, Fred Bobbitt, to pinch hit. He's locked in, but strained. Uh, he's he's um, got 302 on the season, three home runs, 12 RBIs, good power against right-handers. Real good contact as well. Um, so he's potentially dangerous. You never know at this at this point. He's not 100% health, so we'll see what happens here. Oh, one, I mean, 95th pitch. But Japani skips off the ground. Good trap by Fiona Clark. Ball one, one no count. On the breaking pitch misses inside, 2-0. Oh. Just got two quick balls on him. Closing in on 100 pitches. Going to throw 97th right here. Outside oh, come on. Three. She's having a hard time hitting that strike zone. 3-0 and oh to Fred Bobbitt. There they go. Breaking pitch makes it there for a strike. First strike. 3-1. and one. Hitter's pitch to the backup first baseman for the Washington Arctics. Frederick Bobbitt, the third. Misses on five pitches. Puts him at first base. And pressure through the roof now. Here comes Char Meza, the third baseman. One for three of the single. Great contact locked in. Yeah. Looked like Fran Japani got, got she could, there. She couldn't hit anything. I mean, she, yeah. she didn't even come close. Just struggling. Get tired. Again. She's had a good game so far. They're going to pull her out. Not a great game, but a good game. Bring a reliever. Who are they going to put on the mound for relief? With a runner at first and one out. They're looking for the double play from Gas or Morris, the gas man. Mr. Gaslamp, 157 ERA, 091 whip, 33 Ks. Throws the ball with incredible velocity, real good accuracy, and, and fair junk. He's a specialist. So it's a four finger cut finger slider and the changeup. And with the pressure through the roof, he has work cut out from the southpaw. Used to play for the Sandcats, playing for the other Arizona team right now. That one misses inside for the first pitch. One on the count. Richard Meza is locked in. He follows that back up the wall, even sinks up at one apiece. Bottom of the eighth. Tie ball game, three apiece. Follows that slider off. Slider, I think? Yeah. One and two the count. Line the net. There's a hard one. Freddie Knox dives, but cannot get it. And they're going to get runners at first and second now with the one out. They need that double play ball. Plays at third, second, wherever. Let's bring in Jose Carloco. One through three with a single pressure. You can feel the tension. Eagles need two outs to get out of this without giving up a run in the bottom of the eighth. They'll be in good shape. 
Hard one on the ground, Freddie Knox is going to toss it over to second, back to first. They get it and close it out, B. Way to go. All right, we're in the top of the ninth. It's all knotted up. B-Wolves three runs on seven hits with no errors. The Arctics three runs on five hits with an error. Eduardo Keller 0 for 2 with a walk and a, a strikeout. Ham Slamis 0 for 3. Barney Bryant 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Alana Ramirez threw some pitches. Eduardo Keller, the left fielder, is neutral and fit 0 for 2 with a walk. Now in the game, Elijah Gobbleson. All right, so Fred Bobbitt's going to take a seat. They're going to bring in Elijah Gobbleson, the shortstop. He's going to be playing third base. He's got an error. He's hitting 213 with no home runs. He's tense but fit. His speed is uh, poor speed, poor fielding, and uh, a good arm. Um, and he'll be taking over duties at third base. And in comes Eduardo Keller to take the first pitch. It's right in for a strike. Oh, look out. Pressure's still high. The Eagles want to get out. Oh, get come one. on. He takes two quick strikes. Hasn't swung yet. 0 2. There's a line around the ground. The new shortstop, O'Neill, picks up those the first one up, one down. Ham Slam is neutral and fit 0 for 3 today. One out, nobody on in the top of the ninth. That's all knotted at 3. First pitch to Slamis is low, ball 1. Allen's low ball two, two balls and no strikes. Allen's oh, popped him. up behind home plate. Catcher is there calling for it and they'll make the catch for the second out. Two up, two down and in steps Barney Bryant. Who's 0 for three? <laughs> oh boy. All right, Barney Bryant, come on, hit home run win this game. Oh, fouls that breaking pitch inside off, 0-1 oh, account. Allen's outside corner, fouls that back up the wall, 0-2. Oh, Hard to hit, hard to get on that ball. There's one past the mound, but Mez is going to pick that up. One pump throw to first. We're going to the bottom of the ninth, Pete. Yes, sir. All knotted up. 3-3. Three, three. Dave Barron 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Grunt Manley 1 for 3. And Burton Jensen 1 for 3 with a home run. Gasser Morris threw five pitches and gave up one hit. His ERA's at a 1.52. Again, Burton Jensen with that big home run for the Arctics. Dave Barron is tense, but fit. He's 0 for 3 with an RBI today. Right. Bottom of the ninth, all tied up. Winning run at home plate. First pitch to Barron's in there for a called strike. Strike one. That's in there for a called second strike. And very quickly, Barron is in the hole 0 and 2. Gasser Morris delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Down goes Dave Barron. One out. And in comes Grunt Manley's neutral and fit. One for three with a single. He's known as an RBI man and a tough out. But Gasser Morris, known as a specialist, comes in. There's a shot to Henley upstairs. He's going to pick it up, and he's going to step on first himself. Two up, two down, and here comes the dangerous Burton Jensen. The catcher's neutral and fit, favors the low pitch tough out. He's one for three with a home run and a walk. Jensen can end this game with one swing of the bat. That one's fouled off strike one. No balls, one strike. He's got a good eye. One and one doesn't really chase. One ball, one strike, two outs. Now it's low ball, two. Two balls and a strike. Gasser Morris throwing his 13th pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. That evens the count up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Gasser Morris facing off. That one's fouled off. He'll get another pitch. Burton Jensen, the Arctic catcher. And there's a roller that'll get in the center field for a single. Burton Jensen on first with two outs. And in steps Mannion Moon. Mannion Moon neutral and fit 0 for 3, hitting 156 with an RBI. The pressure oh, is way up on Gasser Morris. They're letting him hit. I think they're running out of players. First pitch mm -hmm. to uh, Mannion Moon is in there for a called strike. Strike one. Hmm. Allen's low ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Burton Jensen does not have a lot of speed at first base. That one's fouled straight back. That'll put Mannion Moon in the hole. One and two behind, one and two. Morris delivers. That one's pounded into right field. And he got around a little early. Otherwise, that was the end of the game. One ball, two strikes, Hands two outs. And he takes that pitch for a call, third strike. And out of the inning, we're going into 10. The tenth inning, Tommy. It's still tied ten uh three three. Magic Moore one for three with a strikeout. Freddie Knox one for four and Henley Dexter's one for four. Etana Ramirez has thrown sixteen pitches, giving up one walk. Now battle. The center field. Magic Moore neutral Magic and Moore. fit. He's got good connection versus left-handed pitching. He's one for three with a single. 
Aitana Ramirez, the closing pitcher, at 16 pitches. That one's ripped. That was on the line uh, along third base line, but curved foul. That one's fouled mm -hmm. off. No balls, two strikes. That's Ooh. in there for a called third strike, and town goes Magic Moore. One out, and then steps Freddie Knox. I thought that was a little high. Freddie Knox, one for four of the single. How uncharacteristic would it be for Freddie Knox's home run? Ball misses inside. That pitch has some break on it. One over the count. That one's right in there. It's a hard liner between third and shortstop in the left field. Patience Evergreen halts it. Freddie Knox on base, two for five. Way to go, Freddie. Yes, yeah, sir. So one on with one out, and in steps Hanley Dexterous. He's neutral and fit. One for four with a single. Freddie Knox at first base has some speed. But with a left-handed pitcher, she's looking right at first base. So the throw over to first, Freddie Knox is back. Allen's outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a shot, and that's going to get into the corner, into the left field corner. And here comes Freddie Knox pulling into third base. Hanley Dexteris sliding into hey. second, so a double for Hanley Dexteris. Runners at first and second now with one out, and in steps Buster Biggs. Yeah, no pressure for the double play, I don't think. Unless, uh, Max Texas is going to replace a ton of Ramirez. Max Texas, the reliever I talked about before the game. 309 ERA, a 111 whip, 22 Ks on the season. Those are ball hard with good junk and fair accuracy. He's well rested. He's ball prone in certain situations. So the four finger slide on a curveball with the pressure through the roof. Last thing the Beatles want to do is line one out to like third base and have them tag it for a double play. <laughs> With 99 miles an hour hits the outside corner ball on Matt. I wouldn't want to be a Max Texas shoes for this one. Oh, they're going to get that that play at home. I, I, they didn't want to run anybody around and end up getting two tagged out. Hammer long ball though, locked in and fit. Two outs, runners at first and third. Throw to first and a runner is back. First pitch to hammer long ball is inside ball one. One ball, no strikes. That's over mm. the outside corner for a called strike. One and one. That's oh, over really? the inside corner for a called second strike. Jeez. That's wow. outside ball two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. It's outside. Full count now. Three balls, two strikes. Texas is walk prone. <gasps> strike three. Hey. And he goes down looking. Really? And again, another opportunity squandered by the B-Wolves. We're going into the bottom of the 10th tie, 3-3. Patience Evergreen 0-3 for 3 with three strikeouts. Colton O'Neill 0-1, for 1, and Elijah Gobbleson's first at bat. Gaster Morris at 20 pitches with two strikeouts, giving up two hits. That is a wide strike zone, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. No surprise there, Patience Evergreen's rattled. She's going to get pulled. They're going to bring in Jocelyn Cherry, the left fielder, number 43. Uh, 375 batting average with three home runs, eight RBIs. Um, fair power contact and speed. It's going to pinch hit for Patience Evergreen. The specialist gas for Morris going to work. Slider outside corner in for strike one on the count. Pressure still way up here. Late game, extra innings, bottom of the 10th. The Eagles hoping to push it to 11th. That one fades up a little too high. One and one the count now to Jocelyn Cherry. Jocelyn Cherry. <laughs> Third pitch. Inside strike two. I wonder if she's going to swing. One and two the count. 24th pitch coming up for Gasser Morris. He's got a little bit more gas in the gas tank. The gas man. There he goes. Three strikes. She never swung the bat. <laughs> I don't know what her plan was. Uh, Colton O'Neill comes in now. He's 0 for 1. 170 on the season. He's got okay power. He's pointing out over the wall as if he's going to win this thing. 25th pitch by Gasser Morris going up against another left-hander. Oh, he was just a little bit low on that first one. One on the count to Colton O'Neill. That one oh, misses up high. Two quick balls. Guess the Morris having a hard time dialing it in here. There you go. That one he hits, though, right down the third baseline. Foul ball. 2-1 to the backup shortstop for the Washington Arctics. Frank Butch misses outside. 3-1. Guess the Morris in danger of walking him. Right down the middle. Strike two. 3-2 three, two, full count. 30th pitch, still yet to, no, he hits, he's one of the bat. 30th pitch by Gaston Morris, can he K him? Fouls it, first baseline, souvenir, three and two. He hits it hard when he hits it. Check swing strike three, all right, Gasner, Gas the gas man, gets another K. That's good, we need one more. Elijah Gobbles with shortstop, coming up 213. Zero home runs, four RBIs, he's tense. 
He should be an easy at bat for Gasser. Oh, come on. If Gasser decides to throw a little too low. 1 0 account. It's that one high and away. Strike one. Even things up at one apiece. 34th pitch coming up, I guess. More. It's going to go to the top of the 11th if he can. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Nice change. I pulled a lot off that. It's a little sneeze there. Number 56 wipes it off. Wipes it right on the ball, as we like to say. Winds up, throws it. Hard liner in the center field. Oh, Magic Morris going back. He's got to chase it down. That was unexpected. He's going to throw it in the cutoff. And they're going to throw it in. He gets a double. Not what we thought. Yes, the Morris upset with that one. And now you got skyrocketing pressure with two outs. They needed just one more. Two for four. The locked in Chard Meza. This is a tough situation for the Eagles. Because right out on the strike, go on the count. 37th pitch coming up. Inside corner strike 2-0-2. Oh, he just needs one. It's got to be a smart pitch. Losing some velocity. There he goes. Anticipated it. Almost hit him in the hands. One and two now to Chard Meza. Not sure what's coming next. Here's the throw. Check swing strike three, and he gets out of it, Pete. Way to go, Gasser. Oh. Yes, sir. We're going to head into the top of the 11th. It's still score tied 3 3. Fiona Clark's first at bat. Eduardo Keller 0 for 3 with a walk and a strikeout. Ham Slam is 0 for 4. Texas had eight pitches, racked up a strikeout. Fiona Clark neutral and well, hitting 269 with a home run, five RBIs. Called on in here to do some late inning work. I know. These super late inning games are real tough. First one's a ball, second one's a strike. We've now won a piece. Pressure's still way up. 11th pitch by Texas right in there. Hard liner past the mound, and she's going to get on base. Way to go, Fiona Clark. That was our unexpected single. Yes, sir. So one on with no outs and in steps Eduardo Keller, neutral and fit 0 for 3 with a walk. Fiona Clark not, does not have a lot of speed over at first base. First pitch to Keller's high ball one. There's yeah. a shot. That's out of here. Eduardo Go. Keller wins the game. Yes. Yeah. Well, he didn't win the game. <laughs> right. A two run home run. To the left field bleachers has hit traveled 358 feet. That's a second home run, third RBI of the season. The kid's gonna play, Tom. He's gonna play. <laughs> I was thinking, I was yeah, thinking it would be nice if he got two, but I didn't want to say it because every time I say it, nothing happens. <laughs> Ham Slam is on the other hand, over four on the day. He wants to go one for five. First pitch was his low, one all account. Buell's in a good position now. Max Texas upset. Yeah. Fall behind the plate. That's gonna be caught yeah. by the catcher. The third for what the second out? Well, I think it's the first. Barney Bryan, neutral and fit, oh. 0 for 4. Nobody on with one out. Texas tense now, throwing his 16th pitch. Inside ball one. One ball, no strikes. That's lifted into right center field. And that's going to drop. Oh, no. Dave Barron was able, yeah, <laughs> able to get over there. Look to me. I got it just kind of hung up there. Magic that was Moore. great placement. Great was perfect. There's no one should be there. Yet there they were. Magic Moore, 1 for 4 on the day. Texas is tense now. Late swing fouled back up the wall and won the count. Pressure up, but not all the way. Second pitch is a little swinging bunt back to the mound. Texas picks it up, throws it to first, goes outside. Yes, sir. So we're heading into the bottom of the 11th. B Wolves, five runs on 11 hits. The Arctics, three runs on seven hits with an error. Jose Carloco, one for four. Dave Barron, 0 for four with two strikeouts. Brent Manley, one for four. Gasser Morris at 39 pitches with five strikeouts, giving up three hits. Jose Carloco neutral and fit one for four with a single. The Arctics need two to tie, three to win. Morris's velocity is starting to show some wear. He's locked in and fit. About to throw his 40th pitch. Oh, Gasser Morris is going to take a seat. They're going to bring in closing pitcher Macy York. Macy York with a 3.38 ERA, a 2.0 whiff, seven strikeouts. She's neutral and fit. She's got less than average power, less than average junk, and less than average accuracy, but she's almost fully rested. She throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So with the game on the line here in the bottom of the 11th, there's a shot that's going to get into the foul territory along the right field line. So strike one, Carloco, dangerous hitter. No balls, one strike. York delivers. That's fouled off along the first base side. And very quickly, Carloco is in the hole. No balls, two strikes, no outs. That's fouled back. Carloco will get another pitch. No balls, two strikes, no outs, nobody on, bottom of the 11. Oh, that one's low, ball one. One and two now. And he fouls that one off. 
making York throw some pitches here in the bottom of the 11th. She's up to it, making her sixth pitch. That one's no. pounded into Jeez. left field. That's going to be gone. That's out of here. Jose Carloco goes deep to left field, doing what he's done all season. That one, 353 feet. That's his 11th home run, 28th RBI of the season. And that pulls the Arctics to within one, Tommy. Dave Barron is tense, but Fitty's 0 for 4 with an RBI. Now, if they just contain the damage, York, though, tense now after throwing six pitches. First pitch to Dave Barron's in there for a called strike, strike one. Maybe she shouldn't have thrown to him, you know? Swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, that's, that's an option. No balls, two strikes. Again, I, I wish they would show, you could look and see, you know, like a, have a, 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 what would you say, like a planning screen or something where you can see what the, the, the hitters are doing so you can figure out best what to do. Like I say, if you know the guy behind them is not hitting very well, come oh. on. They got Jeez. him. All right. Jeez, OP. Yeah. Macy York was right there, but she couldn't pick it up. Freddie, York, uh, Freddie Knox had to come up and take care of the duty. So uh, one out, in steps Grunt Manley. Um, yeah, so I just I think there should be a screen where you can look and take a look and see who's coming up behind them, you know. And then if like yeah. if, if the person behind them is not doing so well, then yeah, walk the guy. Ball one. That's an effort called strike. One ball, one strike, one out. Nobody on. B Wolves leading five four. That one's low ball two. Two balls in a strike now. Grunt Manley, the first baseman, fouls that one back. That'll even the count at two and two. Grunt Manley known as a tough out. Macy York delivers her 16th pitch. That's fouled straight back. York spit that out. <laughs> two balls, two strikes, one out. There's a shot. And that's going to be yes. a diving catch by Haley Dexteris. Two outs, and in comes Burton Jensen. He's neutral and fit. Favors the low pitch, the tough out. He's two for four with a home run today. Again, tough hitters here for Macy York to face off of. Two outs, yeah. nobody on. First pitch to Jensen's in there for called strike, strike one. Come on, Macy. Macy's back to being neutral. There's a yep. shot, that's gonna be a single in the center field. So one on with two outs, Burton huh. Jensen and Macy York's ego's taking a tumble, but Mannion Moon steps in, he's neutral and fit. 0 for four with three strikeouts today. He did hit one really hard though. Yeah, he did. <laughs> His last yeah. time up. So two outs, runner at first base. Macy York squaring off. Oh, first, come on. Oh. First pitch is outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That's in there for a called strike, and that'll even the count. One ball, one strike, two outs. York's, that's a Oop. smash foul. Macy York's accuracy and junk are, are suffering. Oh. That one's high. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Big pitch here for Macy York. Uh, fouled mm. off. Mannion Moon will get another pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. York throws her 25th pitch low, ball three. And we got a full count. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Thank you, buddy. And he oh. walked. Mannion Moon walked. So you got runners now at first and second with two outs. Jocelyn T Cherry, the left fielder, is neutral and fits. She's 0 for 1 today. The tying runs at second, the winning runs at first. There's a shot. Pam Slam is going to pick it up, make the throw to third. Yeah. And the B-Wolves are going to escape with one. They got one. Oh, man. What a game. You never know. She's just, just barely. Holy cow. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. So, I don't even know. I guess it was, like, was it the, I don't know when they scored. I guess it was, they scored two in the first. Two in the first. Uh, they got one in the fourth. Fourth. Why, why am I? Okay, so anyway, now we get two of the six. It's three, two of the six. Okay. We will tie it up in the top of the eighth. We go extra innings. We go 10. We go 11. Beebles get two on a nice two-run home run. The Arctics get a home run of their own to make it a one-point game. Put two on the base and then get that out. Uh, Beebles get five hits on 11. No, five runs on 11 hits. The Arctics get four runs on nine hits with one error. Uh, Freddie Knox comes in today, has a good day. Goes two for five, gets a run. Haley Exteris goes two for five. That's a good day. 
Uh, Buster Biggs goes two for five, gets a run and an RBI. It's a real good day. Hammerlong Ballum, two for three, another good day. Look at all those those top guys doing very well. He yeah. gets a run and a home run, two RBIs, walks to one strike out. He's got he's got stats in every column. Steve Monster, on the other hand, uh, didn't really show up. He goes over three and strikes out twice. Uh, Bertha Banks comes in to sub pinch hit. She goes over one. Uh, Fiona Clark comes in. She goes one for one with a run. So she did she did well there. And then she kept caught for a couple innings. Well, for more than a couple, actually, as it turns out, we had extra innings. Uh, Eduardo Keller comes and goes one for four. It's all right with a run, a home run, two RBIs in a, in a walk and a strikeout. So it was, I mean, it wasn't great, but it was good. Yeah. Um, Ham Slamis, on the other hand, 0 for 5. Jeez. Barney Bryant, 0 for 5. Those two guys sucking eggs together. Barney Bryant strikes out once. Magic Moore, 1 for 5 with two strikeouts. Yes, sir. And for the Arctics, uh, Chard Meza goes uh, 2 for 5, scored a run, struck out twice, though. Jose Carloco, their big hitter, 2 for 5, scored two runs, hit a home run, racked up, uh, did uh, get an RBI. Uh, Dave Barron goes 0 for 5 with an RBI and two strikeouts. Uh, what's his name? Grant Manley. Grant Manley. Grant, Grant Manley. Manley, yeah. He goes 1 for 5. Yeah, that's um, not Benson Jensen goes 3 for 5, scored a run, hit a home run, and had an RBI. Yeah, he had the big day. That Jensen. Yeah, he'll be on the top three, yeah. Mannion Moon goes 0 for 4. He walked once, struck out twice. Patience Evergreen, of course, poor Patience, goes 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Oh. Cherry goes 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Uh, Messiah French goes 0 for 2. And then uh, Colton O'Neill, he's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Nick Flores goes 0 for 2. Uh, Bobbitt was, uh, didn't get an official at bat, but walked once. Um, and then Gobbleson was 1 for 1. And that's yeah, this, it. This will- there's a lot of empty space in the middle of that in the middle of the lineup. It's really just a handful yeah. of players who are hitting for them. And if we would have realized it early on, we could have yeah. pitched around them or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you never know. French Pony starts the game. She ends it without any additional movement on her record. She goes seven in the third innings, gives up just four hits, three earned runs, uh, walks a batter, strikes out six, gives up a home run. Her ERA, uh, I think, climbs to a 3.0. She's 2 1 0 on the season. Uh, Gaston Morris comes in. He's going to earn the win. He throws two and two-thirds innings, gives up just uh, three hits, five strikeouts in two and two-thirds innings. Uh, his ERA drops to 1-4-0. He's now 3-1-4 and four on the season. What a what a year. Forget everything I said about letting him go. Macy York comes in to close out, saves the game, gets a save. She throws an inning, gives up just two hits, one earned run, one walk, uh, no strikeouts, gives him a home run. So it was tenuous there. Her ERA is up at a 4 and 0 one and she's 0-1-4 on the season. And then for the Arctics, Travis came in, pitched five and two-thirds innings. He gave up six hits, two earned runs, two walks, two strikeouts, one home run. His ERA jumps up to a 3.43, and he's going to leave with uh, his record intact with four, four wins and three losses. Burt Berger came in, gave pitched two innings, gave up a hit, and struck out three. His ERA is at a 4.15, and he's hit. He will stay with no record. He's got no record so far this season. Uh, Aitana Ramirez comes in. She pitches uh, an inning and two-thirds. She gives up two hits, one walk, one strikeout. Her ERA is at a 3.86, and her record will remain two wins, two losses, and nine saves, Tom. Wow. wow. And Max Texas, he'll get, he'll get saddled with the loss. He pitched an inning and two-thirds, gave up two hits, two earned runs. One strikeout, one home run. His ERA will jump up to 3.44, and his record will fall to two wins and one loss. Three stars of the game. First star of the game, the B-plus right fielder, Hammerlong Ballo. Good old number 90 showed up today, went two for three. Hit a home run, racked up two RBI, scored a run himself. He also walked once, so he was on base uh, three times today. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to, you know, our, our our star players did well. Hammer's an example of that, and we finally got that offense that we needed to actually win these games, so it's good to see him step up. Second star of the game, as I mentioned, uh, the D-plus ranked catcher, number 25, Burton Jensen, uh, goes three for five, hits a home run, and RBI and scores a run. Good day for Jensen. Eduardo Keller, the third star, and a young, <laughs> young man. I think this is the second time this year he's been selected yeah. as player of the game, so... Uh, B minus ranked uh, left fielder Eduardo Keller, uh, number 11 went one for four with a home run, two RBI score to run himself. Obviously on, on that one swing of the bat, but the, what a big swing of the bat it was coming in a home run coming in the 11th inning and giving the uh, the B Wolves that two run 
lead, which they wound up needing both of those runs yeah. to win this game. So, big talk key. about a talk about unlikely. You know, he's 0 for three coming up there with just one home run of the season. You did yeah. not expect that home winning home run. Yes, sir. Gamer stats: Tommy G with six hits, two home runs, five RBIs, one stolen base, five strikeouts for a contribution of 57 percent. PJ with five hits. One great catch and six strikeouts for a contribution of forty-three percent. That's weird because it seemed like it seemed like uh, so many times you'd crack one. I'd, I'd strike out, I'd strike, you crack one out there. I'm like, man, Pete is getting the hits today. I felt like I wasn't getting them, and you were getting them. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm still not hitting for power. I can't. I not can't hit home runs this year. I don't know why. I guess it's just uh, too high for me. It's got it. Yeah, too old. I can't, yeah, I can't, gotta know your limitations, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't keep up with how how fast the ball is moving now. I'm getting too old. <laughs> the ball gets past. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, I heard it whistle. Okay, a little bit of news after the game. Player development available. Slugger aid. Ready Knox it is rare to take out a new training regime. Slugger aid endorsement will give uh, two or seven to his power, one to his connectivity. Uh, not sure if you can afford it or not, but there you go. And uh, Larry Cunningham offended a heaters coach and was replaced by Smack Avery. Hey. Smack coming in off of the uh, free agent wire finally. The release player, Larry Cunningham, was a B-ranked 27-year-old starting pitcher, relief pitcher. He had uh, a better velocity. Uh, he had, no, he's got uh, 36 velocity, 50 <laughs> junk, and 99 <laughs> accuracy. He's a nine power with 37 connectivity. Um, looking at Smack Avery, they're going to gain in velocity. They'll lose a little on the junk and the accuracy. And uh, Smack is not as good a hitter as Larry Cunningham. But um, they were paying Cunningham six million three hundred thousand dollars. They're only going to pay um, Smack one million eight hundred thousand dollars. So okay, he's joining his his old teammate uh, Gina Torrens out there. That'll be interesting. Yeah, uh, they're they're out of it. Yeah, let's see if I looked at uh, player development. Uh, I don't think we can afford anything yet. Yeah, buy in one game. We could possibly get the celebrity date for Steve Monstour at the next game. Uh, that That's going to be it. Everything else is can't afford. So with the think about that, he would get one to his power, six to his speed, his arm would drop by five. Oh. What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Well... Well, wow, we, we got we got that win. That was good. We got out of here with the win. That's that's uh, nice, nice little. Uh, well, actually, we're still on the road now. We're gonna catch a flight and head on up to, to Denver, uh, where we're gonna be playing the the Warblers. I think for the second time this season. Let's see, the first time we we played them, they beat us four two. So did they? Uh, yeah, we're gonna be out in uh, Big Sky Ballpark or wherever that is. That'll be fun there. Yeah, they beat us four two. Huh. Yeah. All right. Well, um, that's been good, and we will we will look forward to seeing you out in Colorado. And until then, uh, this is Tommy G, and this is PJ, and we're saying, get out of here.